What's up, Boomerites? How you doing? It's good to see you. I am King Boomer, and welcome to Movie Night. Today, we are going to watch Monty Python's Life of Brian. Now, I remember putting up a poll back, uh, back two or three weeks ago, and I put up both Monty Python and the Holy Grail and Monty Python's Life of Brian. Much more of you voted for Life of Brian. Um, so this is what this reaction is going to be. It was made in 1979. It's an hour and 30 minutes long. And it says, and I quote, Born in a stable in Judea, Brian grows up to join a group of anti-Roman zealots, but his fate keeps getting confused with that of a certain carpenter. I wonder who that is. But a lot of you guys have told me this is really funny. Um, I'm not going to lie. I kind of wanted to watch uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail first. But this one got the votes. So here we go. Second movie night in a row. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. Uh, hit the notification bell. That way you can stay updated with the videos that drop. I'm excited. Let's check it out. And let's end this night with a funny movie, because honestly, I need the laughs. I'm kind of in a weird mood right now. So I need the laughs to get my spirits up. So hopefully this will do the trick. All right, I'll see you guys in there. They're riding camels. <clears throat> wow, even the camel is dressed up. We are three wise men. Well, what are you doing creeping around a cow shed at two o'clock in the morning? That doesn't sound very wise to me. What are you giving him a barn for? He might bite him. What? That's a dangerous animal. Quick, throw it in the trough. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's a yes, dangerous it animal. No, no, no. He is the son of God, our Messiah. That's Capricorn, is it? Uh, no, 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 that's just <laughs> him. By what name are you calling him? Uh, Brian. That would annoy the hell out of me if somebody actually talked like that. How you doing? Well, it's good to see you. What are we getting into tonight, huh? You muppet! I feel like this could be like a James Bond song or something. I'm actually quite impressed with the uh, with the uh, animations because this is from 1979, so this is actually really cool. It's weird, but it's cool. I, I like it. They don't make stuff like this anymore. What the hell is that? It's so strange. <laughs> oh my god! How blessed are the sorrowful! They shall find consolation and thirst to see right. Is that just the style of the film? Because it looks like grainy and weird. I, I guess that's just the style of the film. Quiet, Mom. Where are Carrius things? Will you be quiet? Don't pick your nose. Don't you swear, my wife. I was only asking him to shut up so he can hear what he's saying, Big Nose. Don't you call my husband Big Nose. This whole scene makes it makes me think it was like they had a time machine because it looks like it was based on how most people interact with each other today. Oh, you're not so bad yourself, Conkface. Where are you two from? No city? One more time, mate. I'll take you to fucking cleaner. Language. <laughs> well, who it yours then? Glass, Big Brother. Oh, right. That's your last warning. Oh, do pipe down. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was not expecting that. Oh, that was wild. Oh, come on, Brian. Or they'll have stoned him before we get there. Oh, I ain't wearing these beards. Why aren't women allowed to go to stonings, Mum? It's written, that's why. Feared, madam. Oh, Luke, I haven't got time to go to no stonings. He's not well again. <laughs> Look at that donkey! Oh my god! <laughs> it was 
is the fakest donkey I've ever seen. Two points, uh, two flats, and a packet of gravel. Packet of gravel. Uh oh. Enjoy yourselves at the stoning. You have been found guilty by the elders of the town. That's John Cleese. You are to be stoned to death. <laughs> Any women here today? Very well. By virtue of the authority vested in me. Oh my God! Come on, who threw that? Who threw that stone? Come on, go to the back. Oh dear. <laughs> this movie's wacky, man. Jehovah! 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 I'm warning you. If you say Jehovah once more. Right! Who threw that? Was it you? Yes. <laughs> yes! No one is to stone anyone until I blow this whistle. Do you understand? Even if they do say Jehovah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. What is this movie, dude? This is fucking batshit crazy! Oh. 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 Wow. Furthermore, it is the birthright of every man or woman. Why don't you shut up about women, Stan? You're putting us off. Why are you always on about women, Stan? I want to be one. Oh, yeah? What? From now on, I want you all to call me Loretta. Hi, right, Loretta. But you can't have babies! Don't you oppress me. I'm not oppressing you, Stan. You haven't got a womb. <laughs> if this movie wasn't made in 1979, I would have, I would think it was made yesterday, from that from that dialogue. Dangerous out there. <laughs> he shoved him back out there again. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> I'm sure that happened in history. Doesn't make for good entertainment. You can hear the booze. Are you the Judean people's front? Fuck off. Can I join your group? Nah, piss off. I hate the Romans as much as anybody. Are you sure? Oh, dead sure. Right, you're in. <laughs> oh, oh, I think I'm about to have a cardiac arrest. Uh oh. <clears throat> Better turn around, dude. Romanes ayunt domus. People call Romanes, they go the house. It, it says Romans go home. No, it doesn't. <laughs> What's Latin for Roman? E How many Romans? Blah, blah, blah. E -tay, e -tay. E -tay. Nothing like getting an <coughs> English lesson from the guy you hate, or a Latin lesson. Understand? Yes, sir. Right out under time. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Hail Caesar, sir. Hail Caesar. If it's not done by sunrise, I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Finished. Right. Now, don't do it again. <laughs> so stupid. It's all fun and games until the real Roman show up. And Pilot's wife's bedroom is here. Having grabbed his wife, we inform Pilot that she's in our custody. Pontius pilot. And what have they ever given us in return? The aqueduct? Oh, yeah, yeah, they did give us that. Uh, that's true, yeah. And the sanitation. Yep. Oh, yeah, the sanitation, Mitch. Remember what the city used to be like? And the roads. Well, yeah, obviously the roads. I mean, the roads go without sand, don't they? But apart from the sanitation, the aqueduct, and the road. Irrigation. Medicine. Yeah. Education. Yeah, you're all right. Fair enough. And the wine? 
I'd have issue with the roads bit because in this part of the world, I think it was the Persians that created a lot of roads before the Romans did in that area. <laughs> you can still see, dude. It's all clear. Did he finish the slogan? A hundred times. In letters ten foot high, all the way around the palace. We we need doers in our movement, Brian, but before you join us, know this. There is not one of us here who would not gladly suffer death to rid this country of the Romans once and for all. Uh, well, one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's one. But otherwise, we're solid. Are you with us? Yes. From now on, you shall be called Brian, that is called Brian. <laughs> that was a hell, that was a hell of a mosaic. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You know it's tense when they have the heartbeat in the background. Pilot's wife, take her back, is Suleiman. So are we. As Hawkland. We were here first. What do you mean? We thought of it first. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, a couple of years ago. Bastards, we've been planning this for months. What tough ditty for you, fish face. Oh, oh boy. Oh, brothers, oh. brothers, we should be struggling together. <clears throat> oh. Listen to the man. We should be united against the common enemy. Listen to him. Yeah, he's right. Look out. Uh -oh. Right, where were we? Uh, you were gonna punch me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the chopping. The chopping bit killed me, dude. Oh, God. The roads are just like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. What now? Roman dungeon, this, ooh. This can't be good. You lucky bastard. Who's that? Lucky bastard. What? Drop the little jailer's pet, aren't we? Looks like a drunk Merlin. They must think the sun shines out of your ass, Sonny. <laughs> what would they do to me? Oh, you'll probably get away with crucifixion. You'll probably get away with crucifixion. <laughs> wow. If we didn't have crucifixion, this country would be in a right bloody mess. What do you want? I want you to move me to another cell. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Pilot wants to see you. Terrific race, the Romans. Terrific. Hail Caesar! Hail! Only one survivor, sir. Ah! Oh. Throw him to the floor! What is your name? Brian, sir. Brian, eh? No, no, Brian. As what, sir? Spirit? Spirit? Spirit, sir. Bobardo, a touch of knowing do. Oh, uh, about eleven, sir. I'm not Jewish, I'm a Roman. A Roman? No, no, Roman. <laughs> Your father was a Roman. Who was he? He was a centurion in the Jerusalem garrison. What was his name? Nautius Maximus. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a joke, sir. Like, uh, silly or or biggest digger, sir. Biggest digger. <laughs> Funny about because Dickus. <laughs> well, it's a joke name, sir. I have a very great friend in Rome called Biggest Dickus. 
Silence! Who ah. all this insolence? Wait, your biggest stickers hears of this. Wait! Take him away! Oh, sir, you, you <laughs> all know I want him fighting rabid wild animals within a week. Yes, sir. <laughs> within a week. But like rabid animals. I will not have my friends ridiculed by the common soldiery. Anybody else feel like a little giggle when I mention my friend, Dickus? Dickus. <laughs> what about you? Do you find it visible? Will I say? <laughs> Look at his face! Ah! Dickus. Dickus. Is this gonna go on for another five minutes with Biggest Dickus? He has a wife, you know. You know what she's called? Incontinentia. Incontinentia buttocks. Stop! <laughs> What's he called this? Hey, it's enough of this rowdy, wobble, sticking behavior. Finally! I'm calling guards. You're not. Leave him! <laughs> nice. Where's the crash? It's supposed to hit the ground, right? <laughs> what the fuck? This movie. What is this movie? What are they shooting? Or what's shooting them? I have no fucking idea what's going on here. Oh, you lucky bastard. That was the mo that was the most random thing I've ever seen in a movie ever. Ever. Ever, bar none. of things going astray um, and there shall be a great confusion as to where things really are with, with the sort of raffia work base I like this one that's the guy I would follow this is a fucking whack job movie man tell you what I'll throw you in this as well I don't want it but thanks I now propose that all seven of these ex-brothers be now entered in the minutes as probationary martyrs to the courts. I second that, Reg. Thank you, Loretta. On the nod. <laughs> At least he's calling him, calling her Loretta now. Look out! <laughs> it's so stupid. I love this. Reg, it's me, Brian. Get off! Get off out of it! My eyes are dim, I cannot see. Are you Matthias? Yes. We have reason to believe you may be hiding one Brian of Nazareth, the member of the terrorist organization, the People's Front of Judea. So John Cleese is outside of the door and inside of the door. Is you know that a penalty laid down by Roman law for harboring a known criminal? No. Crucifixion. Oh. Nasty, eh? Could be worse. What? Well, at least it gets you out in the open air. You're weird. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be crucified. Couldn't find anything, sir. Weirdo. Big nose. Watch it. 
<laughs> Big Nose is the major insult in this movie. He's sorry he led the Fifth Legion straight to our official headquarters. Well, that's all right then, Brian. Sit down. Have a scone. Make yourself a dough. You cut! You stupid, bad brain, flat headed! One place we didn't look. God, I'm just a poor old man. <laughs> Send him all in again. Have you ever seen anyone crucified? Crucifixion's a doddle. <laughs> Open up! You haven't given us time to hide! Oh my god! time! Was that John Cleese again? How much do you want for the good? Oh no, you can have it. Have it? Yes. Consider the- <laughs> <laughs> I always forget, John Cleese is a tall man. Very tall. Of eternal life. I wouldn't say. Leave me alone. Just tell me. This oh. is his gourd. We will carry it for you, Master. He's been taken up. Oh, oh he is oh, been oh, taken up. Oh, I oh, can. Oh, there he is. Oh, uh, no, there he is. <laughs> this is the funniest stupid movie I've ever seen. This is reminding me of uh, the United States Congress. Oh my foot! Oh, Hello, birds! Hello, trees! Yeah, now you want to be quiet. God, no, now he's gonna get killed because of these crazy idiots. Brian? <sighs> this isn't very Messiah like. See, we've entered the uh, naked. <laughs> no! I see we've entered the naked men portion of the movie. He's not coming out, and that's my final word! No! 
Call her a Welsh tart. Look, you've got it all wrong. You don't need to follow me. You're all different. Yes, we are all different. I'm not. That's the point. Don't let anyone tell you what to do. Otherwise, I'll oh, no. no. <laughs> go away. Excuse me. Are you a virgin? Well. If it's not a personal question... If it's not a personal question, piss off! Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she is! <laughs> so stupid, man. It's the stupid, stupidest, most fun movie ever. Don't push that baby in the savior's face, you'll catch I say, Brian? Brian, you are fantastic! You weren't so bad yourself. No, what you said just now. Quite extraordinary. What? Very attractive. It's our revolution. We can all do it together. You're fucking nicked me, old beauty. <laughs> I was wondering when the Romans were going to catch up to him. Stop it. Well, Brian, you've given us a good run for our money. Do we have any crucifixions today? 139, sir. Special celebration, Passover, sir. 139 crucifixions, my God. The crowd outside are getting a bit restless, sir. Permission to disperse them, please. Disperse them? Because I haven't addressed them yet. The Passover, my friend Biggest Dickus, has come all the way from Rome just to hear it. Hail Caesar! Hail Fever! Oh, that's Biggest Dickus, okay. Take him away. I'm a Roman! I, I can prove it honestly! And crucify him well! Biggest. Let me come with you, Pontius. I may be of some assistance if there is a sudden crisis. Just <laughs> talk. They're going to Brian. What? what? They're going to him off. They're going to crucify him. Right. This calls for immediate discussion. All you've got to do is to go out of that door now and try to stop the Romans nailing him up. Have a little ego trip from the feminists. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my god! Crucifixion? Yes. Good. Out of the door, line on the left, one cross each. Crucifixion? Uh, no, freedom. They said I hadn't done anything so I could go free and live on an island somewhere. Oh, well, that's jolly good. Well, off you go then. Nah, I'm only pulling your leg. It's crucifixion, really. Oh. People of Jerusalem! Rome is your friend! It is customary at this time to release a wrongdoer from our prison. <laughs> Centurion, why do they titter, sir? Just some uh, Jewish joke, sir. Are they wagging me? Oh, no, sir. <laughs> Very well. And a pen pocket! He sounds a notorious criminal. <laughs> uh, several seditious scribes from Caesarea. Let Caesarea me speak to them, oh, no. Ah, Good oh. idea, because... Excuse me, there's been some sort of mistake. Just a moment, Richard. Jaina, how many have come through? What? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my God. Crucifixion. Is there someone I could speak to? Get a move on, big nose. There's people waiting to be crucified out here. <laughs> could I see a lawyer or someone? Um, do, do you have a lawyer? No, but I'm a Roman. How about a retrial? We've got plenty of time. <laughs> Shut up, you miserable bloody Romans. No sense of humor. Oh. I'm sorry, a bit of a hurry. Can you go straight up, line on the left, one cross each. Now. <laughs> well, this something I said. This man commands the quack legion. <laughs> Crucifixion party. Morning. Now, crosses over your left shoulders, and if you keep your backs 
hard up against the cross beam, you'll be there in no time. <laughs> you lucky bastards! You lucky, shabby bastards! <laughs> it's the guy who wants to be crucified. Oh, oh, let oh. me shoulder your burden, brother. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he leaves. Hey, <laughs> you're doing? Uh, it, it's not my cross. Shut up and get on with it. Oh. <laughs> He had you there, mate, didn't he? That'll teach you a lesson. <laughs> this movie is so wacky. No! Wait, you know? We need Tryon! Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. We need Tryon! So, we, uh, we haven't got a bronzer. What? Are you just sent it for crucifixion, sir? Uh, oh, wait, wait! We do have a Brian. I shall release Brian! <laughs> Too late, he's already on his way to get crucified. Have they gone? We got lumps of it around the back. What? Oh, don't worry about him, sir. He's mur. He's m he's m he's m he's m he's m he's m he's mad, sir. Have they gone? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyway, get on with the story. I think she never really liked him, so... Uh, <laughs> he talked normal, actually! Ah! I'm not Jewish! I'm a Samaritan! A Samaritan? This is supposed to be a Jewish section. It doesn't matter! You're all gonna die in a day or two! It may not matter to you, Roman, but it certainly matters to us, doesn't it, darling? Oh, rather! Hands up! All those who don't want to be crucified here. <laughs> they can't move their hands. Uh, look, it's not my cross. What? Um, it's not my cross. I was uh, holding it for someone. Just lie uh, down. I haven't got all day. No. But look, uh, we've had a busy day. There's 140 of you lot to get up. Will you let me down if he comes back? Yeah, yeah, we'll let you down. Not so bad, watch you up. <laughs> You've been rescued then, are you? Rich! I know, sibling Brian. I think I should point out first, Brian, in all fairness, that we are not, in fact, the rescue committee. Are we the people's front of Judea, brackets, officials, in brackets, do hereby convey our sincere fraternal and sisterly greetings to you, Brian. What? Your death will stand as a landmark in the continuing struggle to liberate the parent land, drainage, medicine, roads, housing, education, viniculture, of both sexes and hermaphrodites. And I'd just like to add on a personal note, my own admiration, a very difficult time. Ridge, what are you going to do? Goodbye, Brian, and thanks. Terrific work, Brian. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. Oh my for god. He's a jolly good fellow. Imagine getting that sung to you as you're being crucified. You bastard! Where is Brown and Nazareth? I have an order for his release. I'm Brown and Nazareth. What? Yeah, I I'm Brown and Nazareth. Take him down. I'm Brian. I'm Brian! I'm Brian! I am Spartacus. I'm only joking. I'm not really Brian. No, I'm not Brian. Oh, no, it was a joke. I'm only pulling your leg. It's a joke. I'm not him, I'm just having you on. Is that the Knights Templar? Who is that? People's son! People's son! Oh, it's the People's Front? It looked like Knights Templar outfits at first. No, they're not. Okay. Come on! The Judean People's Front! We are the Judean People's Front! Crack Suicide Squad! Suicide Squad! Attack! That showed him, huh? <laughs> Ryan! 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 
Oh, is his girlfriend with the big bush gonna save him? Reg has explained it all to me, and I think it's great what you're doing. I'll never forget you. And then she just leaves. So there you are! I might have known it would end up like this. Well, if that's how you treat your poor old mother in the autumn years of her life, be crucified! See if I care. Cheer up, Brian. Some things in life are bad. They can really make you mad. Other things just make you swear and curse. When you're chewing on last gristle, that grumble, give a whistle. And this'll help things turn out for the best. Always look on the bright side of life. And that's to laugh and smile and dance and sing. <laughs> Just purse your lips and whistle. That's the thing. Always look on the bright side of death. <laughs> Life's a piece of shit when you look at it. Wow. That was one of the weirdest, stupidest, most funny things I've ever watched. It was absolutely absurd. The absurdity level was, on a scale of 1 to 10, was a 27. I really enjoyed it, though. That's Something really stupid and hilarious like that is exactly what I needed today. So, thank you for suggesting The Life of Brian. Monty Python's Life of Brian. Um, the one part of the movie that I think really completely threw me off guard, and I'm still sitting here like, what the fuck was that? Is the, <laughs> when the spaceship caught him and then took him off into space and there was like some battle and they crash landed right back where he came from with those alien costumes and I, it was I have, I have no idea what, what the hell that was um, yeah it felt like what's that uh, what's that more recent movie it felt like you know like the the story of Jesus Christ if it was told in like an idiocracy type of environment sort of thing I don't know but it, it was very entertaining it was very funny it was very what the fuck and I, I really enjoyed it I really did so let me know what you think in the comments below if there's any particular spot of the movie that you think I should have uh, I should remember the most. For me, it's the weird alien part and Biggest Diggus. Biggest Diggus, you can't beat... You can't beat Biggest Diggus. That's, that's the other conclusion I came to when I watched this movie. But uh, I really enjoyed it, so thank you so much. If you stuck around this long, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. I'm King Boomer. I'm out of here. You guys have a lovely day. Peace.